Hey there. Good morning. Happy coffee to you. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes really good. Uh, slept like a rock for most of the part. Um, got a little windy uh, a little earlier this morning. I could hear the uh, the fly from the tent flapping around, but other than that, everything uh, everything was good. My hands got a they're actually a little cold now, but uh, got a little cold last night. <clears throat> I just had to flip over from my side and then uh, tuck myself in and try to sleep on my back. And I'm, not, I'm just not a back sleeper, so uh, but totally survived. Windy this morning, <clears throat> completely overcast. Um, no 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 real clouds, but just just white everywhere um, but uh coffee's good we're gonna have a have a quick uh, breakfast bar here get uh, get things in order um, <clears throat> throw on my uh, hiking clothes break down camp and um, get going this morning so I got what just uh, almost eight o'clock so we should be uh, completely uh, broken down and have camp all back in the backpack and be ready to go in uh, probably about an hour no 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 real hurry and then um and yeah we'll continue our adventure so we will see you guys in just a little while hope you have a great morning So no, uh, no mountain vistas here, but pretty cool view with a farmhouse and open farmland. Just off of the trail. Lovely. All right. Well, I'm going to stop filming and then uh, I'll start when I get to the other side. Well, we made it across. First, I was going to go to the left, or in this case, to the right, and uh, decided not to. Then I went to the, the right there and then head across right over in the middle and uh, came over here this way and uh, only managed to get one foot wet, my right one. Not that bad, always a challenge. Ah, what else could you be doing? So anyways, we are between marker 12 and 11. It's about, let's say 11, 15 in the morning. Um, sun's trying trying to make it out but it's just not gonna do it I'm stuck behind behind clouds you can see right there but it's actually okay because it's not it's not hot it's uh it's kind of kind of cool I mean I'm warm anyway because I'm moving but um yeah it's uh, like the perfect perfect temperature so we're uh, scooting along. We have uh, to go from, um, once we get to a marker 11, we'll go back to marker eight. That'll be the end of it. We'll uh, hike out from there. It's probably another quarter of a mile from there back to the car and then, uh, then off we go. Uh, small drive home, find uh, I don't know, I just, I want a burger. I know that sounds crazy, but it's probably not the healthiest option, but right now, that's what I'm craving. So, uh, 
guess maybe I'll stop on the way and find a, find a nice sandwich to have. So, again, beautiful day. Um, trail, um, unlike most other big trails, this one's not marked, like on an ongoing basis, like every, I don't know, a couple hundred yards. But um, there's no way you can miss where you're going. Um, the path is just it's huge so uh, so no issues there and this one um really it's only about a it's about an hour hour and a half drive maybe from uh from the house to the park so um i might come back uh, this is a this is a pre pretty easy setup easy to get into and out of and uh it's a nice way to just get the Get everything back in the shape. Keep shaking down stuff, and I find uh, find my legs again before before I head uh, up north to the UP and the Pitcher Rocks for six days. So uh, so yeah, we're just gonna keep going. We'll see it on the way. Uh, so good afternoon. Um, got about 12:30. PM, we are at um, marker number 11. Um, taking a little break here. <clears throat> There's a, it's a bridge that goes over, I guess a river of some kind, and uh, provided the opportunity to just stop and uh, sit down. I mean, I've been going three hours straight, so um, it feels feels good to uh, just get off the legs for a little bit. There. Uh, they're a little, little tired. I'll be honest with you. Um, so today uh, versus yesterday. Yesterday I uh, intensely hiked in my new. Um, oh gosh, um, brand, brand, not Vargo. So yesterday I uh, intensely hiked in my. Um, new Vask uh, hiking boots. Uh, they have a neoprene liner. They're, they're waterproof. They're, uh, they're mid, mid high. Um, nice boots. I've been wearing them, uh, on and off to, to work and around to break them in. And, um, they're, they're, they're comfortable. But, uh, today I went back and I switched and I, um, decided to actually try the trail runners again. Um, the ultra lone peak. I think these are the three fives and, um, I can see why after people, after hiking in boots, um, when they try those, uh, those lone, those, um, ultra, um, trail runners, they call them. Um, when you put them on, they're like, <laughs> they're like slippers. Um, it's crazy how much lighter they are. And, um, I mean, you can really, um, you can really, I mean, you can really feel the, dis the, the difference. Um, there is, they're made, they're, they're called zero lift. They have a zero, zero lift um, shoe is what they're called. So your foot stays completely flat with the ground. Um, unlike a normal shoe or a normal boot where your heel will be up some off the ground and your, and your toes will actually point downward to be angled. Um, so that takes a little bit, just at first takes a little bit to get used to, but um, yeah, I mean, they're not waterproof, but I can see why, um, why people, when they, once, once they try them, they, uh, they just really, really like them. So, um, so I think that's going to be the way to go. I'll be honest with you. They're, uh, they're so much lighter. Um, other than that, we're going to just, uh, chill out for another, uh, 10 minutes here. Um, finish drinking our, um, iced coffee with no ice. <laughs> Um, finish a, an RX bar and then um, we'll uh, got another probably another three miles three and a half miles to go before uh, before we wrap it up so um, what another just another beautiful day I think the, I think the rain's actually gonna hold off it's actually gotten warmer uh, the Sun popped out and uh, I had to I had to peel off another layer so um, just another beautiful day to be out hiking, enjoying some fresh air, and um, 
not dealing with all the other nonsense of the world. All right, this is going to do it for now. We'll see you down the way. So hey there, great afternoon, good afternoon to you. Um, we're down to about the last uh, 0.2, 0 0.4, yeah, maybe 0.4 miles. Um, and then a uh, small little road walk back to the vehicle and then off we go. Um, wow, what, a, what an awesome two days. I can, uh, for being um, early April in Michigan, uh, this weather yesterday and today, just absolutely fantastic. Um, maybe you had a chance to get out and enjoy it. If you did, uh, you, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, um, you're missing out. There's just something about just uh, just the fresh air and. Uh, just, um, just, just spending, spend some time listening to the geese and the, the, the herons and the cranes and the, the frogs, um, and the helicopters going by. Um, that was really fun last night. I don't know what flew over, but it was huge. Um, and very, very loud. It was about, probably about midnight. And, uh, <laughs> It felt like the tent was just shaking. Um, but, uh, so yeah, that's uh, nothing like having a nice, really good sleep um, interrupted by helicopter flight. Um, so, if you've tuned in, I just want to say thanks. Um, I appreciate you checking in on us. Um, this is just one small adventure to go with a bunch of others I have planned this year. Again, all of this in preparation for some much, much bigger, some bigger hikes. Um, I'm getting excited because I can kind of feel like uh, like it's getting closer. You know, sort of, sort of like when you're back in college in your uh, second semester senior, and you can see that you can see that light at the end of the tunnel. And you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna graduate. I gotta, I gotta get a real job, and <laughs> it's like. Oh man, this could get real. I'm actually gonna have to hike some, have to hike some miles. So uh, yeah, um, so tune in often um, to uh, check out some, uh, you know, the new and upcoming videos that I'll post here. Um, check out the blog as well. I'll try to try to get that updated as quick as possible. You know, with some deeper thoughts, and uh, I'm gonna try to. Uh, start the uh the instagram and get that going as well so uh from the trail all inside uh what are we um sleepy hollow state park in michigan it's gonna do it for now we'll see you down the way bye bye